Hey everyone, Sam here. How's it going? In this video, I want to show you two ways you can easily edit Lottie animations. One way using the Lottie Files Lottie Editor online, and the other using After Effects and Body Moving, and a little feature you may not know about, which allows you to import Lottie animations into After Effects, get their layers, and edit them. But let's start off on LottieFiles.com. So on Lottie Files, when you find an animation um, you like, or perhaps your own animations, you can click on it. And down here, you can see Edit Layer Colors. And if you click on this, it's gonna open up the animation in the Lottie Editor. So on the right, you can modify the dimensions, the frame rate, the duration of the animation, and update it. You can also do stuff like change the background color and the playback speed. So those are quite nice properties to modify, but then you can also go layer by layer and modify their colors. So you can either go layer by layer or you can click on the top level um, button here where you have the grouped colors. And this is a really quick way to modify um, colors in an animation. So here, if I wanted to change the red to uh, to cyan, for example, I could click here, update it, and we've really quickly just updated all of the colors. Um, and so if your color isn't appearing in this sidebar, you can go layer by layer. If the person's named the layer correctly, then it's going to be easy but sometimes uh, people just don't or forget. And so you just end up having these uh, default layer names. So you have to go through layer by layer and find the color, but normally it should be in the group colors up here and it will make your life really easier to, and it'll be a lot quicker to change the colors. So once you've done that, you can either export it as a Lottie JSON and download it to your desktop, or you can also upload it to Lottie files and upload it directly to your previous. So this is what that looks like. It's gonna upload it and then you can again share privately or grab the JSON link, stuff like that. Um, and so on your previews, here you go, it appears here. So that's really helpful and it's a really great way to quickly change colors of your Lottie animation. Um, if you want to um, add things to your animation, add different shapes, um, or change the colors, add gradients, for example. Um, we're gonna do the second method, which involves body moving and After Effects. So we're gonna copy the Lottie animation URL and head into After Effects. So with body moving open, there's a button here, import Lottie animation. If you click on it, you can then use the URL you just copied and import the animation. It may take a while, so I'm gonna cut here and show you when it's finished importing. Okay, so Body Moving has finished importing the Santa animation and we can open it up here and uh, it will create a folder and then you can find the different comps. So it's probably Santa Workout, there we go. And then it's using dummy as a pre-comp for these two little guys. But there we go, it's imported the animation correctly, it's playing fine, and we've got all the different layers here. Um, this body moving won't be able to import gradients, so if the animation does have gradients in it, it will tell you what to do and sort of what settings to import, and you have to recreate the gradient yourself. Um, so that can be a little, um, a bit tricky, but it's well described on what to do. Um, but here you can see it's worked flawlessly. We've got all the different layers. And so if you wanted to go one by one and change stuff, you can even, um, yeah, just change the colors. And then you can also check out the keyframes, see how it was animated. So that's also really interesting to see how the person actually created this animation. Um, and then of course you can add um, more shapes. You can also import multiple animations if you want to merge them together uh, and create a new one and export it again 
as a roti. So you can do um, some really cool things, uh, importing lotis and seeing how they're done. But that's it for this video. That's two ways to edit your lotti animations. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.